Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Stony Creek here. I'm getting ready to head over to a friend's house. We're getting ready to go on a field trip. Why don't you hop in the truck, ride with us? I'm going to let him tell you about what we're getting ready to do today. Morning. How are you? Pretty good. How are you, Bill? Doing good. So, um, tell us, uh, tell us uh, who you are and what we're getting ready to do today. My name is Scott Woods. Uh, we have me and my wife have uh, Woods Hill Kiko, and today we are taking our two bucks to REI to have them uh, collected. Why would you want your bucks collected? You got a couple of fine-looking bucks in there. Thank you, sir. Uh, for uh, insurance purposes, uh, biosecurity. Uh, Eventually, I'd like to get to where we don't even have a buck on the place, just to AI completely. People like to buy semen, you know, for their farms, reasons like that. Well, but daylight's burning, two hours to go. I guess we ought to get that way, huh? Yep, should. All right. Well, hop in the truck. Let's go. <laughs> well, we finally made it over here. I'm with Eric. He's agreed to talk to us a little bit about what REI is. So, Eric, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Eric Kine. I'm the production manager here at REI. I've been here uh, about four years. Basically, I oversee <laughs> daily production with collection of bulls, goats, all the smart room. Now, many of my viewers are already in the goat community, but for those that are not, uh, tell them what uh, REI is. REI stands for Reproduction Enterprises Incorporated. REI has been around uh, since 1978. It is currently owned by a gentleman named Les Hutchins. He goes by Hutch. He is definitely on fire about uh, cattle reproduction and small ruminant reproduction. General manager here is Lori Henderson. She's been here over 20 years. Lori oversees day-to-day -day operations throughout the whole company, both with the bull stud and ET. Keeps things afloat and, and running like a, like a well-oiled machine. Now there are a lot of producers out there that haven't had their bucks collected yet. Would you explain the process of collecting a buck? So you're standing inside um, our collection area. Um, as you can see, um, along, the, along the alleyway here, we have holding pins. Um, we, when the bucks come in, we stage these bucks in these holding pins. And we only use does um, for, the, for, the, uh, for the bucks to mount. So our main goal here is to stimulate these bucks to want to mount this doe. You gotta have a lot of patience. Um, some bucks um, we'll work with for as little as two seconds, as you can see in the video, um, you know, but uh, some of these bucks we'll work with for, for 15, 20 minutes. Um, if they don't mount right away, uh, we have a few different things that we can do. Um, we can, we can uh, shake the tail of the doe. Uh, we can turn the head of the doe. Um, we can lead the doe around. Uh, we can we can take the doe and the buck out of the alleyway. We can put him in a more confined area. So if we have a shy buck um, that that doesn't want anybody else watching him, we can go in these holding pins in a more confined area to where uh, not all eyes are on, on what he's going to do. After the buck's been collected, what does Cecil do when he leaves the collection arena? When he comes in from the collection arena. What he's doing here is he's, he's first, he's going to break down his AV. Um, he's going to pull the insulator off of the, uh, the collection tube. He then takes the collection tube off of the uh, collection bag. He puts a red cap on it right away so that if he accidentally drops the, the vial, we're not lost. We don't lose any semen. What happens to the collection once it gets to the lab? So once the semen uh, comes to the lab, he hands the collection vial to me. We double check the cane code of the animal and we double check the name. From there, uh, I will make a mark on the sticker uh, after we both agree that the vial in my hand is the buck that he collected. I'm also checking for uh, obvious poor morphology. Uh, as long as this motility is at least 65 to 70% modal, that's great. Then I'm going to look at a quick morphology. How many gamut cells do you guys put in one straw? We dose all of our goat semen at 110 million sperm cells in a half cc straw. So once a buck's been collected, how many straws can the expected yield be during that collection? Sure, that's a great question. Uh, 
I don't have an exact answer for you. Um, all bucks are, are, are different, right. um, as well as rams and bulls and, and everything else that we collect. Um, if I had to give you an average, we expect these bucks to put up somewhere between 20 and 100 straws a day. Now for the bucks being collected today, we saw that you used the AV method. Why do you use the AV or the artificial vagina method during collection? AV collections are, is more natural for the buck. We prefer that type of collection. It's, if the bucks have good libido, it's quicker. Um, it uh, obviously is, is a little less stress on the animal. Hey Eric, can you tell me some of the services that REI provides? Some of the services that we provide, aside from bull collection, is, is obviously small ruminant collection. Aside from the, from the collection side of things, we do also offer uh, small ruminant female reproductive services, whether it's lap AI, transcervical AI, uh, flushing does, we can do all of that as well. We also provide post-mortem semen extractions. So for anybody that uh, you know had an accident at home with a buck, uh, you know the buck has been sick, and uh, you know that animal has has passed away, we can uh, still harvest semen off that animal even though that it is deceased. On our website, we have uh, we have a uh, a protocol um, if that situation arises. Now you just mentioned that website. Give us that web address and tell us how people can find you. The website for, for REI is uh, reproductionenterprises.com. You can also look us up on Facebook. And um, for, any, for anybody that's in the area, feel free to come by, check out our facilities. Well, Eric, thanks so much for taking the time to answer these questions today. I know you're a busy guy. Well, yep. thank you much. Appreciate hey, it. Yeah, no problem. I got home just in time. It's starting to rain pretty good. Thanks Eric for doing the interview today and explaining all the services that REI offers. And thanks Scott at Woodhill Kikos for letting me tag along. Well, I'm gonna get inside before I get soaked. I appreciate you guys, appreciate you watching. I'll see you next video.